Okay, now she's heading a dog that got tense. So this is about to get really bad. Eee, hey, that's bad. Mm -hmm. Don't touch him, don't touch him. Oop, oop, oh, okay. Get in there, get in. Ah. Hold on, hold on, I'll get it. All right, so this is just frantic, he's frantic. That looks more like anger to me. Is being confronted by something. That's all right. Nobody's getting hurt. Here. I think Caesar might have met his match in Target. That's amazing. Right. So my energy is stronger than his. He, he can buy an energy that's stronger than him. He will absolutely buy an energy that's weaker than him. Caesar needs to work with Elfie immediately, so he rushes him to his nearby hotel. He needs to trigger Elfie's fear so we can correct the resulting behavior. This is a dangerous exercise. When Elfie is fearful, that's when he attacks. <laughs> I need to trigger his fear by confronting his personal space. And with Alfie, he only have two choices, fight or flight. So whatever he chooses, I'm going to correct and begin to build his trust. <laughs> Alfie chose fight, so I need to correct him and teach him that I will not back down until he chooses to be calm. So once I have him in a calm state, I can then nurture him with a nice massage. So what I'm telling him is if you behave calm, you receive affection. It's only the first time that they're gonna put up a big fight. Because they don't know what you're asking him is just for them to, to relax and lay down and you're gonna give him you know, a massage or affection. They, that, he has no idea that humans can actually do that. It's like he's domesticated, but he has not maintained. Like one of the things that wild animals have is they don't trust humans. So if, if a human goes and put a leash on any kind of species, let's say a wolf, he's gonna do exactly the same what this guy is doing. You wanna go over there and yeah, sit yeah, down? Yeah, 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 come here. How can I? Come in, sweetie. Oh. There we go, very good, very good. There you go. Watch the follow through. Hey. Confusion, this is okay. Wants to go back home? Not yet. We're not finished yet. If she ends that way, she's still un uncertain. So what does this mean exactly? Well, it means she's nervous. Look, look at the tail. Wow. So I want her to finish more in a calm state. Sure. Isabu started to bite the ankles, which is perfect because right away, we get to show how to deal with this behavior. Isabu respond very well to my correction, but then we need to make sure she arrived into a calm state. Repeating this process will teach her that what we want is for her to become. So how do I do it? Like if she's biting somebody, yeah. the person's freaking out. I'm gonna go over here, watch. Okay. So that's the equivalent of biting. Because she's, she's chasing. Oh. Yes. Yes, that's a, that's a challenge. That's aggressive. Yeah, come on, come follow me. Yeah, that's what we're doing. OK, OK. This is a fence here, but if there's no fence, we're going to fight. OK, right. But you see what I did right there is I went into a moment where she's chasing, which is exactly the same behavior she does when she chases people, right? So okay. I address the situation, right. and I'm disagreeing with that. 
but I'm making sure she finished in a calm, submissive state. That way she understands, oh, so fight is not an option, Mom. Surrender okay. is an option. <laughs> Look, see? <laughs> now I can stop it from here. Right. You see it? OK. So now, so even though the rest do it, I can overrule her desire. So what I do, <laughs> hey. That's incredible. Right? With me, he's like, hey, the vibe is different. Yeah, yeah, totally. He, I mean, he was like this. <laughs> he's like, dude, what? I'm telling you from over there, I'm telling you not to come in. Yeah. Silently, he told you. You know, it's bipolar. No, it's a dog was communicating, the human didn't listen. Amigo's aggressiveness can be prevented if Evan and his friends learn to read his body language so they can see the warning signs. Look, his ears are back, tail is low. That's a good sign, ears are back. Right. When I came in first, his eyes were on me. When the ears are up, they're already zooming on, in you. Like a sniper, it's already on you. So Evan, that's what you need to be looking out for when your friends arrive. Luckily for Evan, Amigo is easy to read. See, so what I do, <coughs> hey. But Evan is not the only one who needs to learn the signs. Right now, I can see Amigo feels threatened by the energy of these two friends who have come into his space. Can Is we I, leave? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to show them how they are contributing to the problem. Look, 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 look how you're watching it, look at it. Watch look at it, <laughs> see it? Yeah. These guys are so stiff and tense around this dog that is making Amigo nervous, and nervous dogs latch out. Look at those eyes. Mm -hmm. To help them learn Amigo's warning signs, Caesar uses a wooden crate to test him. It's all right, it's all right. Hey. So he gets, he gets nervous. Look, look, look. It's the box, it's not even me. All right. Hey, now Evan, do me a favor, go outside. Caesar has Evan leave to work alone with Amigo, but wants him to watch on a monitor. Pass me my leash. If Amigo acts out again, the same way he does around Evan's friends, Caesar wants to show Evan how to correct him. Hey. Hey. All right, but, but now I have to, to respond back. If he throws a punch, I have to be able to correct that. When Amigo lashes out like that, a quick correction and follow through is how Evan can teach Amigo that attacking is not okay. There you go, right there. See that? Hey. I corrected him when his ears were up, as he was getting excited, but before he attacked. So you have to learn to avoid first. You'll be okay if he's avoiding you. Calm, submissive state, this is what you want. Caesar works with the dangerous Duck Duck one-on-one, -on -one, pushing him to overcome his fears and build trust. He has made progress and is able to get the muzzle on and off without incident. But has Duck Duck overcome enough fear for Caesar to reach out and touch him? I don't care about the pain. What I care is I have to follow through, I have to stay my ground, I have to help this dog to go to a calm, submissive state, otherwise he will never learn. Yes, dog that bit me. But this is the kind of dog I choose to work with. And I will take a bite if I can save a dog's life. But it's also my job to give him affection once he arrives to a calm, submissive state so I can reinforce what I wanted from him from the beginning. It's important that emotions don't get in the way because you can't rehabilitate a dog when you are defeated. Yeah, yeah. That's all right, I saw, I saw, I saw. Like a snake, like a snake. 
He was in that state. Okay, so now I'm gonna hold it. So you see how it changes. That's all right, sorry, sorry, sorry. That's all right. Go. That's why I have a job. <laughs> the only thing I want is to carry him. Oh, look, oh. So he's nervous. Oh, no. <laughs> this is not nervous. OK, so pass it to me, then. Grab him and pass it to me. Pass him to you? Yeah, but give me the rear. <laughs> yeah, give me the rear. Are you sure? Yeah. That's it. Same arms, right here, right there. My baby, no problem. That's perfectly good reason why my dad, who he is, because he had no intentions of baby, touching that dog. With her, by her feeling so emotional, it makes him feel protective. What I'm doing is just, I'm just staying calm. Come here. Yeah. <laughs> here, right there. How you doing? Hi. Right? Good boy, how are you? So, the problem here is not the dog. It's just the energy who's holding that tells him I need to protect because my human is tense or is nervous or is anxious. What do you